Right, good morning. Sunday morning. I've been up bright and early um, working on this um, Geo Ibanez Geo neck. Now, I've got all the frets levelled, I've re crowned them, and now I'm getting on to the final polishing. We'll leave the tape on there. Um, final polishing, what I've done, what I do is I go across the frets with four different grits of paper, starting at uh, I go with some 1000. 1200, 1500, and I go across both ways, across that way, across that way, I wrap it round a pad, so I'll put one in there, and uh, it's, it's padded. I'm going to show you how I do that in a minute because um, I'm going to do, I haven't done the 2000 yet, so I'm going to do the 2000. So what I do is I go across both ways, go that way, then I come the other side and go that way, and then I take a small piece, uh, and what we do is put a scratch in that way, and what I do is then I go across this way and take off all the little scratches we've got in there. I'm now just about to do the final paper. This is 2000 grit, it's really smooth. And what it is, I'm gonna show you how I go on. I'll just wrap this, really simple. A lot of these hand work, but then we come on to this. So what I'll do is, I'll wrap it around this piece of, uh, like I say, padded wood there. And all I'll do is, I'm gonna come, come across the hole of the fretboard. I'm going to go this way. What it's going to do is it's going to take the edges off. And it's also going to put in small scratches that way. Now I'm doing this with the pad right now. What I normally do is I first do it by hand. Then I go with the pad. And then I come back by hand again. So here we go, shutting down. Better at this end because you get a lot more done. And then what I do is I'll come around the other side, I'll turn the paper over, and I'll go this way. So I've gone across there with four grips from a thousand grip. In fact, I started with 800, I didn't show that one, I did that by hand. So I've 800, then 1,000, then 1,200, then 1,500, and now 2,000 grit. And what this is doing is it's taking, rounding off all the edges, putting slight scratches in, going in this direction and that direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little by hand, because you'll get a feel for it. Just go that way. You get a good feel for it this way. And that is the final polish. Now to get these scratches that way out of there, what we're now going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper and I'll do this in both directions. I'll start in the middle so you can see and I'll take a small piece, 2000 grit, and I'm going to go, go down the length of the fret itself. And what this is going to do is, any scratches that were this way, it's now going to take out, we're going to buff them out. And I'll do this with all 22 frets. And I'll do it from both sides, so I'll come back around there. Once I've done that side, I'll come around this side and I'll do it from this side. And there you go, these are now becoming highly polished. I'm going to bring the camera in now, I'll leave the camera there. I shall zoom in. I don't even know which one I did there, yeah, it's that one. Here you go. And we're now starting to highly polish these frets. Now the neck just moved there, that doesn't matter anymore because we've got them all leveled anyway. So that's it, that's becoming highly polished. Now that's done and we've gone that way, we've gone both sides, the very final polishing will be done with some wire wool. Uh, like so. And that's how we'll do the final polishing. Now the final polishing I'll do, that one's already done, so this is one I've just done. We'll go that way and this way. Now this fret itself is highly polished, there are no scratches in there. I'm going to do this with all the rest of the frets. There's another 23 to do. Um, I'm going to get on with that. Once I've done that, I'll remove this tape 
Um, I'll come back and show you that. I'll remove this tape and I'll do all the final polishing with wire wool. I'll get some lemon oil on the neck uh, or linseed oil, whichever I've got in stock. Uh, we'll oil the fretboard, let some oil soak in and then we'll get all the final polishing done with the uh, wire wool and the neck will be ready to go back on the guitar. So I'm going to blob on with that. Um, it's Sunday morning, I'm going to have to go to church soon so I'm going to do another five minutes on this and then I'm done. Uh, I'll catch up with this later, I'll, bring a, I'll do the final part of the video, we'll get all the guitar back together, get it set up and it'll go back to the shop whenever. Talk to you soon. Right, back. Um, a little bit closer in now because um, I'm going to show how basically I've polished all the frets, rounded them all off, uh, gone with the last uh, grit, which is 2000 grit, like I said. We've gone across the whole lot twice, both ways, and gone this way, and gone that way, took all the scratches out. The final polishing I'll be doing with um, uh, the finest grade steel wool you can get, which is grade 0000. zero, zero, zero. And I tend to do that with the tape off. So I'm going to remove the tape wire here just to show you where we are. Um, the reason I remove the tape is, well, so it's, it's clearly, it's, it's quite uh, obvious, isn't it? You can't play guitar with tape on. So I'm going to remove all this. And what this has given us is fretboard. We might have a little bit of tape residue on there. Nothing, we're not have a lot, be easy to get off. But what we're left with is perfectly level neck with completely level frets. A bit of tape residue we'll have on there. We'll get off a wire wall. But what we're going to do now is um, we're going to check the level anyway. Wire in. Now I've not. I've only just got back from church um, and I've not checked anything myself yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to check the level of these frets. You're all witness to this. No rock so far. I guarantee there won't be any rock anyway. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I've done this job many, many times. So. All the frets are level. They're level down the centre. I'll check the edges, but I know they're level. I know they're going to be level. So what we do now for the final polishing, we do the final polishing with wire wool. But we don't do it just yet. What we're going to do first is we're going to coat the fretboard. Uh, what we use is people use some people use linseed oil, other people use lemon oil. What the lemon oil or linseed oil does is it nourishes the wood, it soaks in, but it also cleans as it nourishes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go across with some uh, that's all I use. I use a Jim Dunlop. Where I use lemon oil, Jim Dunlop. I use this because it's got an applicator on top there. So what it is, we give it a shake, we go across the whole length, give it a squeeze as we're doing so, and that's it. What we're going to do is we're going to douse the fretboard in lemon oil. I like to do this off the guitar if we've got a removable neck because then you don't get any residue falling on the guitar because then you've got to wipe it up. So what I'm going to do is cover this, blah blah blah. Blah, 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 blah. You know how it works, and I'm going to let this soak in 20 minutes before I do anything. And there you go. So I've done the whole board. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this in. I'm going to rub this in with my finger. Any gaps we've got there. I'm going to rub this in. I'm going to let it soak. I'm going to let it soak in there for 20 minutes. I'm not going to do anything. And what I'm going to do is when it's soaked in, after 20 minutes, I'm going to get some steel wool. And I'm going to come across the frets, take all the gunk off the frets, all the tape residue, whatever. I'm also going to rub inside the frets this way. But I'm going to go inside the frets and that's going to bring any finger gunk, any dead skin or anything like that that's, that's in there. I'm going to bring all that out. So it's going to clean the fretboard as well and we'll do the final polishing of the frets this way. I'll do it from both sides, do it from this side and the next side. And that'll be it. And what you'll be left with, you'll be left with a perfectly straight neck, with perfectly level frets, all crowned. Um, all levelled, all crowned, uh, give you a big, absolutely fantastic when it goes back on the guitar. Then we can set the guitar up properly, we can set the action properly, we can set the knot high properly, set the radius of the saddles properly, and uh, get it strung up, get it in tune, um, and blah de blah de blah de blah. So that'll be it. I'll come back to uh, 
I'll come back when I've got it back on the guitar and we'll take it from there because hopefully I want to get all this done in one final video and this is part of that video. This is the third section I've done so far so I want to keep this bit as brief as possible. I'll come back soon.